Hey guys. So I hope you enjoyed our insect unit. I got one more story for you. It is about a insect that is black and yellow and it has a stinger and it goes all around finding flowers and it takes pollen from one flower to the next flower to the next flower and they make honey. Can you guess what insect I'm talking about? Well, let's get right into the story and I bet you already know. So let's go, we're gonna read this story right now. This story is called The Very Greedy Bee. In a busy, buzzy beehive lived a very greedy bee. All the other bees worked hard making honey and cleaning the hive, but the greedy bee spent all day gobbling pollen and guzzling ne nectar. Slurp, slurp, burp, slurp, slurp, burp. The greedy bee wouldn't share his nectar with anyone. He wouldn't even let a tired little bird, ladybird sit on his flower. Find your own flower, he said. This one is mine. Mine. Then, one day, the greedy bee was in a meadow full of the biggest and best flowers he ever had seen. He decided not to tell anyone. Yummy, he buzzed. Lots and lots and f uh, lots of flowers, and they're all for me. Wow! The greedy bee whizzed and whizzed from flower to flower, slurping and glurping and growing fatter and fatter and fatter and fatter at last his tummy was full and he settled down on a big pink flower in the warm yellow sunshine and he fell flat fast asleep when the greedy bee woke up it was dark he tried to fly but his tummy was so stodgy and podgy that biff, bang, thump. He went down and inst he went down instead of up, and landed biff, bang, thump on the ground below. I'm scared," said the greedy bee, "and I don't know how to get home." Then he saw two glowing eyes in the grass. Eek! He cried. A monster is coming to eat me! <gasps> Do you guys think a monster is going to eat our friend the bee? But it wasn't a monster. It was two friendly fireflies. Oh, we read about fireflies yesterday, remember? Um, with their bottoms glowing in the dark. What's wrong, they asked. I'm too full to fly, wailed the greedy bee. And I can't walk home in the dark. Follow us, said the fireflies. And they set off on a long, long journey home. Through forests of flowers and squishy, squishy mud, over hills and under hollows, trudged, through, trudged the greedy bee. He had never walked so far, and he was very tired. Soon be there, called the fireflies kindly. Then they heard a whooshing, watery noise. What do you think that is? I'm almost home, cried the greedy bee. It's the stream. And it was, and his hive was on the other side of it. Oh dear, cried the greedy bee, flopping down with a flump on the floor. 
How will I ever get across? We'll help you, said a tiny, tiny ant and a big leaf. How do you think the ant is going to help him get across the stream? What do you think? The bee and his friends uh, flipped onto the leaf, onto the water. Jump in, they cried. Helped by the fireflies, the greedy bee and the ants got on their way, splishing and splashing over to the other side of the stream. Hooray! I'm home, cried the greedy bee. Wherever have you been, called the other bees. I overslurped, said the greedy bee. I would have never gotten home if my new friends hadn't been so kind. So now I'm going to share the best honey with them. Would you like some too? Great, said the other bees. Let's have a party. Everyone tucked into a midnight feast of yummy, runny honey. All except for one very sleepy, very happy, but not so greedy bee. So did you guys like that story? It was about a bee. And he got so fat and he couldn't fly home. Sometimes we need to get help from our friends. And like we can't do something by ourselves. So our friends can help us. And he made new friends, and the friends helped him get home. And then he wasn't greedy anymore because he felt like sharing with the people who were nice to him. I hope you guys like that story. Now, in the next video, we're going to make our own bee. So I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next video. All right? Bye.